today we're back in Atlanta to go see Dr. Proctor. So uh, we talked about a lot of things when I saw you guys last. Tell me about it a little bit. How's it been working out for you? Well, I've been to a personal trainer. That sounds fantastic. They work you out pretty hard? Yeah. Did Tammy do it also? No. So, okay. So uh, you doing some meal replacement drinks also? Yeah. Good. It sounds like you've really sort of embraced this lifestyle change and taken a hold of things. So oh, yeah. you're ready to see uh, if the work's paid off? Yeah. Let's get up on the scale and take a look at things. Okay. I'm scared. Last time I stepped on a scale at Dr. Proctor's, I weighed 401. He asked me to lose 25 pounds. I'm hoping I'm halfway there to my goal. I weighed 390. That means I lost 10 pounds in a month. And I think that's pretty good progress. So far, things are looking pretty good. You've uh, told me that you've made some big changes, you're working out, and your weight's going the right direction. We really need to help them understand the changes that they're going to have to make in order to be successful with this. And it doesn't stop when we get to surgery. This is ongoing for the rest of their lives. How'd it go? Better than I expected. Your turn. <laughs> Dr. Proctor gave me a pretty big weight goal to lose 60 pounds. I think I am eating better. And I've been trying to be more active, but I don't know how much weight I've lost or gained. Tammy, <laughs> how are you? I'm here. <laughs> You're here? It's good to see you. Last time I saw you, we kind of sat down and we talked about a lot of changes you are going to make and so forth. So tell me about life since then. I've been mean, sticking to the diet pretty well. Yeah? When I'm not able to get out, Amy's the one brings the stuff in, so I'm not cheating. So she's always been the one to kind of cook and do most of the shopping and mm -hmm. so forth, and so she's regulating what both of you guys eat. Right. Okay. So um, do you help her make the list? Yes. All right. So you guys coming up with this together, making sure that you're doing the right things and so forth. Okay. So let's get up on the scale and see where we are with things, okay? Okay. And we'll help you out. You need this? Last time, I weighed 608. I'm hoping this time I weigh 575. That would put me about halfway to my goal. Have a seat, let's talk about things. I've only lost eight pounds in one month. It's terrible. So, listen, you're not even close to your goal. You've hardly lost any weight since I saw you last time. I don't know if you've been doing anything that we talked about. As of right now, I've got serious doubts we're gonna have the surgery. If you asked me today, I'd say no. Tammy tells me that she's doing well, and then she puts up a number telling me that she really hasn't made any changes at all. At her size, she should have dropped quite a bit of weight by now. My suspicion is that she's not following all the dietary recommendations that we've given her in order to lose the weight. What's been holding you back? What, what has been the biggest downfall with regards to holding you back from losing weight? Is your sister supportive? To a point, yeah. To a point, what do you mean? I just feel like she needs to be more helpful. She needs to be more helpful to you? How so? She's, I understand she does the shopping and the cooking and so forth. Yeah, How can she help more? She like, gets frustrated when I ask to get me a drink or something like that. Well, part of this, and what I see when I see folks who are in your size range is once you get there, you become more and more dependent on other people around you. And once that happens, next thing you're bedridden, next thing you know, you're depending on everybody for everything. So honestly, I want to see you do these things for yourself. If you're thirsty, you need to get something to drink, get up and get something to drink. I know it hurts. I know it's going to it's gonna be painful and sometimes seem like it's not I'm worth it. I'm trying to, but it's hard walking with a walker 
and having an open drink. It becomes very easy to blame failure to do the things that you're supposed to do on somebody else. But Tammy's not bed bound. She can get up. She can do some of her own shopping and things like that. She needs to understand that her health is her responsibility. I shouldn't have to remind you, this is life or death. What I talked about last time, that wasn't just to scare you. I mean, I hope it did. Mm -hmm. But it's true. I don't see you living much longer unless we do something about this. If you think you can double down your efforts and you think you can show me that you're going to put something into this, then I'll look at it again. But I'm not changing your goal. Right. Okay, and when I see you back in a month, I want to see you at that goal. At that point, we'll decide whether or not we're going to get your surgery done. Yes. We've got a long way to go with both of you guys. So I want both of you to go together, sit down and have a session with the bariatric psychologist, okay? okay? Because I'm a little concerned about things. I don't know if your head's in the right place with this. All right, so why don't you go meet with him and let's talk again after that. Okay. All right, see you soon. See ya.